So you got a new SD card for your camera, for your smartphone, for your drone, and you're particularly interested in the read and write speed. You now have it, but you're doubting. You don't know if it's the real thing. I'm gonna tell you how I found out that I got scammed buying an SD card. So here on the left, I have my 32 gigabyte fake SD card. And here on the right, I have the genuine one. So I'm gonna tell you what are the flags you need to look for. Firstly, this one was purchased on eBay. First red flag right there for 12 pounds. When I received it, I got this packaging with it. At first glance, it looks like your normal packaging, but then if you look closely, the resolution on the printing, just there's something that's not right about it. Why would a reputable brand like SanDisk have this print with this tiger all pixelated and the printing on the back just look at the at the wording of the letters here. It just doesn't seem high quality. You can see it's all pixelated. So that's the second red flag right there. Now for the final test, which made me be 100% sure that this is a fake, is the speed. I'm gonna show you right now. This is supposed to have close to 100 megabits per second read and write speed. If we look at the benchmarks, we have 87 megabits per second read speed, but the write speed, 30 megabits per second. So this card won't work on my Mavic Air if I wanna record 4K or 120 frames per second. Here's the genuine one. I got this one from Amazon. So I'm gonna show you right now. This is the one I got on eBay, the fake one, 12 pounds. Genuine SanDisk 32 gigabytes Extreme Pro. So I went and got the same exact one on Amazon. At the moment of ordering, it cost me $16.99. So this genuine one, I bought it from Amazon and it's sold by SanDisk. So that's how you know it's genuine. So when I got this, the packaging looks similar at first glance, but if you look side by side, the printing is just so much higher quality on the original one. Now, I went and ran the benchmarks and sure enough, we got a read and write speed a lot higher than on the fake one. So on the read speed, well, we got something similar for the read, 90 megabits per second, not that much different from the fake one, 87, but we're interested in being able to record 4K or high frame rate video. So we got that 74 megabits per second write speed. So there you have it, guys. These cards are where you're gonna store your recordings, your pictures, your video. Don't go cheap on a card like I did. Buy the original one.